Welcome back to The Sorry Girls, a place on the internet where we are passionate about all things DIY and design while keeping sustainability in mind. You may have seen us do big makeovers, but today we are tackling the small, some might say miniature. I'm sorry, I couldn't find my shears. I'm so glad I got my nails done for this video. Like literally how big would little Danny have to be? Like really small, too small. Hello and welcome back to the Sorry Girls. My name is Kelsey and today we're doing something that we seem to to both be really into these days and that is miniatures. I did a video recently, it wasn't that recent. I did a video recently where I turned a hole in my wall into a amazing, adorable miniature world and I asked you guys in the comments if you wanna see me do it again. The results were yes and you gave me such a good idea which is to do a tree house in a plant. That's so smart. Like just so perfect, what a perfect setting because I was running out of holes in my walls to do another miniature room. So I love the idea of doing a miniature tree house in a plant. And I think I have the perfect plant. It needs a little help. So let's just get started. If you haven't seen my first miniature video, you can go check that one out too. Either now, after, Probably not during, that would seem difficult. But you should check out that one too. So my plan is to do two structures in this tree. We're gonna have a main tree house that maybe looks something like this. And then my other idea is to do a rope bridge to a geometric shape greenhouse like meditation room that will be on a separate branch. Yeah, this is gonna be good. But I think before I can get started, we have some things to deal with. I'm sorry, I couldn't find my shears. So I'm gonna start with the main tree house and my plan looks something like this. We're talking slanted roof. We're talking pretty simple, but hopefully cute. Maybe I can throw something on the porch. And if you guys remember from last time, scale is really important. So this time I'm using a train scale called O scale. And that means that one quarter of an inch equals one foot. So we're working with a smaller smaller scale this time. I actually think it's gonna be three inches tall, which basically three times four. 12 foot ceilings. We're gonna have nice, nice tall 12 foot ceilings in this tree house. But it's gonna be about three, three inches tall to fit to my O scale. With me? Okay. I think the first thing to do is to make the base, which I'll do some math to figure out exactly what realistic size I want that to be. And I think we're good to go. So my four walls are complete and on my base here with a little door cut out. Next up, I'm gonna focus on the roof. And my plan is for the roof to go on a little bit of an angle here and then have this opening be all windows. Am I extra? Yeah. Yes, I am. I've already stained um, actually a wood veneer edging that I had and I'm gonna use those as the shingles and cut them up and attach them. So far, I've done this without buying any new materials and I'm hoping to keep it that way. My detachable roof is complete. I don't want it to look like it's detachable, but it'll be like that. But now I need little windows because maybe there's weather, you know? So I'm gonna actually use some recycled food containers as my plastic for my windows. Okay, so I ended up actually attaching the plastic to the structure because it's just easier than putting it in between my posts here. But this roof still fits on 
nicely. And I think I'm about done for the day. I have definitely some more details to do to this, but I think tomorrow we will start with the secondary structure made from the rest of all of this. And maybe somehow this will be clean by the time I come back tomorrow. Okay, I'm back and refreshed, and the space is actually a little bit tidied up. Maybe it was the fairies that did it because I have decided that this is going to be a fairy house. My last miniature creation was a mouse house. I think it just makes sense, especially with the trees, that this is a fairy theme, so. Thank you, fairies. Today I wanna to finish up a lot of the major structures of the treehouse complex so that tomorrow can just be all the details, final touches, fun little things that bring it all to life. But let's just get started. Okay, so first up, I'm actually going to make a bridge that will bridge my two structures. And for this, I'm gonna use some twine and some popsicles that I'm actually cutting into little planks. And with some hot glue, I'm just gonna glue a bunch of planks between these two pieces of twine. Okay, and after doing that for a very long time, I have a rope bridge, um, and with some extra twine and string, I was able to add a little handle. This is just a lot of tying knots and hot glue, but this is gonna be a great, and I think very safe little bridge to go between my two treehouse structures. So, speaking of treehouse structures, on my house that I made, I actually want to attach a railing. This is gonna be for very important fairy safety as well as a place to attach that rope bridge to. So I'm gonna actually use toothpicks just cause you know, we want different sizes of wood here and I think these are gonna be a great option as the spindles. So I'm cutting these to size and I'm actually gonna stain the whole house and my spindles and my railing before gluing it all together. That way everything has a nice stain on it because if I were to glue this first, you know that glue would block the stain from adhering to the wood. So stain is up first. The railing assembly requires a little bit of patience and I actually ended up using wood glue for this. I've been alternating between wood glue and hot glue and super glue but um, wood glue actually is kind of the strongest hold, um, so I'm really liking using the wood glue. And then we're ready to attach the house, which I actually am using a super glue because it is the most fast drying. Okay, so now that we're done with the house, which I mean, I feel like I could just be done here. It looks so cute, but I'm not done. My other structure, I'm actually going to be making a version of one of these camping glamping domes. I just think that this in the tree on a little platform will be the most special for my little fairy friend. So to do this, I'm actually going to be making a dodecahedron, which is a version of a polyhedron. Of course, I need mine to be made clear. So, I've been hoarding plastic for two weeks, which makes me sad. I shouldn't even have this, but between the office garbage, my recycling, I found some plastic. So these are going to be what I make my dome out of. And to make a pentagon, because guys, I don't know if you know this, but sometimes drawing shapes is hard. I once was trying to draw a star and I followed so many tutorials and I did measurements and it still was not looking right. Like, if you just wanna draw the perfect star, it is not easy. Anyways, and my dodecahedron dome is gonna be made up of a bunch of sides of pentagons. So I need to make a pentagon template. Now, to do that, I have a piece of paper here. This is a one and a quarter inch piece of paper. And all we need to do is tie it in a knot and then pull tight. And then we can cut off the extra flaps and we have a pentagon template. Genius. I actually learned this from somebody on the internet. I will link the video down below. But now with that and the recycling that I've been hoarding, we can create some faces for my dome. I 
I experimented with super gluing these together, but ultimately the easiest and quickest way to build the dodecahedron was to use a small piece of clear tape. I honestly did not expect it to turn out this cute. This is what I was picturing, but you know, sometimes what you picture isn't actually what ends up happening. This looks so good. I wanna live here. I cut a little hole in the top because my branch of my fiddly fig is gonna come out through here. And then I also have the, be the base of a platform and I'm going to cut out something that is like just a little bit bigger than the base of my dome here stain it and that's how this side will be attached. Still need to figure out how to put it in the tree, but that's coming up next time in one minute on the Sorry Girls. I was holding my breath that whole time. It worked. Okay, well now, I have, I think, all my structures made and I just need to figure out how to put it in the tree, so. So I'm actually so, well, wood and hot glue are really good friends. I think they stick pretty well together. I just didn't know if it would work on this little bark branch, dead branch, but honestly, I'm really happy with this. Okay, I need to call it a day, but I got a lot of these structure pieces done, and tomorrow is the fun part where we just do final touches and attach the bridge and make like little mini things to bring this whole thing to life and actually make it look like somebody cohabitates here. Ha. Somebody habit. What if only one person? Is it still cohabitate? So the fairies don't come every night. Okay, so now that that is dealt with, today is gonna be all about my final touches. I got the bridge on. And Becky actually hasn't been in all week, so she has not seen anything. And I don't really know if she knows much what's going on. She knows that I'm doing something to the plant. She knows it's miniature, but she doesn't know the vision. And I'm excited to show her later today, get her reaction. Okay, so for my finals today, I'm gonna start with I think I'm um, doing a little clothesline. So I found some fabric in our fabric bin and I'm gonna make some socks and some underwear. And again, we wanna keep our scale in mind. So if your sock is like three or four, let's say three inches wide, that means to keep it to scale, it's gonna need to be a 16th of an inch. We do not have an easy task ahead of us. I'm so glad I got my nails done for this video. So I'm just trying to really cut this out with fabric. So I have my little socks and the underwear came out okay too. And then I have some thread here that will act as the washing line rope, but again, a lot smaller scale. And as the pulley system, I thought of doing a safety pin because it has the little spiral ends and these can act as like the pulleys. Okay, next up, we are actually diving into some real miniature stuff instead of making it. Now these are, they say that they're O scale, but honestly they seem a little bit big for me. But anyways, I'm gonna use these things in the geodome. So this is gonna be kind of like a greenhouse meditation space. 
So I'm just attaching these vines to the inside of my dome in order to make it look like a beautiful lush greenhouse. I'm not loving the color these pots came in, so I'm just touching them up with some more natural tones, like it looks like an overrun garden. And then I can just attach some of the planters actually to the walls of the dome just to make it for easy insulation. I thought it'd be really smart to do a telescope for all the stargazing the fairy needs to do and put that on the balcony so the tripod base is just made from some wire and the telescope itself is made from some clay. Modeling clay is kind of your friend if you're doing any kind of miniature stuff because you know, you probably cannot find an item to your scale, but you can mold it. Speaking of, um, we also made a little watering can because the greenhouse just needed some kind of accessories. For the front door, I stained it pretty much the same brown as everything else, and I had this like 3D metallic paint, which is gonna do well as a doorknob. And to make some rugs, I found a fabric that didn't have the tightest weave, so I was able to pull it apart and actually expose some stringy ends that are gonna look like fringe. And I'm just using a marker to kind of stain it and color it. I did one in brown, one in green for inside of the house. And it's just, it's all in the details. The more we can add, the more layers we can add, the more things that represent what would actually be in a real home or a real greenhouse, then I think the more realistic it'll look. Also, if you're wondering if the plant looks a little taller, you're not wrong. There is, there is fishing line holding up this branch. <laughs> I've seen people do this, you know? The stake wasn't really gonna work, but we can, we can hang it. Okay, I have assembled everything, and I think it's time to show Becky the little mini magic that I made because it is so, it's so cute. I think she'll like it. I saw Danny in the office and I was like, can I make a mini Danny? But I just can't. That is not within my skill set. <laughs> like literally how big would little Danny have to be? Like really small. Too small. Becky! This is my tree also. Oh, it, oh yeah, from your house, like from a while back. It just wasn't doing well in your house? It was doing too well, it was too big. Oh, oh. It was oh, eating up floor space. <laughs> okay, well it's here now. So stakes are high. Can I look? Yeah. Oh my god. That's so freaking cute. The rope bridge looks precarious, but also so cute. <laughs> oh, look at the little watering can. Where did, where did you find that? Made it. Out of what? Polymer it's size. impossible, that's so tiny. Also the telescope. Literally how are your fingers that small? <laughs> that's amazing. Isn't it look so good in the tree too? And the little like light is so cozy. Oh my God, the little underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you glue my tree? Oh yeah, is that bad? <laughs> I mean, that those branches were like dead. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. It's so cute. I know, isn't it such a special little magical addition? I have um the 3D printer file because I printed a little Danny one time. Wait, you oh my god, I was literally just talking about this. I should we should get the 3D printer loaded and like scale it down so you can print whatever size you want. Shut up. Hello, I literally just said that. Did you really? Yeah, I was like, oh I'm done, but I wish I had a little Danny, but oh. it's too small for me. Good work, guys. I really like it a lot. Yeah. Another mini video in the bag. <laughs> Another miniature success. If you guys have not seen the first miniature video that I did in my place, go check that out if you want to see more miniature content. Mini Let us video, know. big success. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel for lots of mini weird things, but also big normal things, feel free to do so. We'd love to see you here more often. We'll see you next time. Bye. Go watch the mini, go watch the other mini video. It looks like this. I was thinking about maybe like a garden area or an art studio, or maybe I go super sleek and modern for a little home, or maybe I lean something more along the style of my own home. Yeah, ready? Okay. Oh, he removes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm using Sharpie to color some of the wax paper to act as my fire. And of course, little branches will act as my fireplace logs. Are you screaming yet?